So while I was on hiatus, I didn't stop looking at tech and I pulled the trigger on a new monitor. Previously, I had an LG 27GN 950-B. It's a 27 inch 4K 144Hz IPS panel that supports G-Sync. I got rid of it for two main reasons. One, I lost the stand and two, I had a friend who needed a new monitor to go with his brand new 1080 Ti. So I gave it to him thinking it would be a great monitor for him since I was in the market anyway. So in the meantime, I used the generic 24 inch BenQ 1080p 60Hz panel for a little while and Eventually, I got tired of pairing a basically 4070 Ti with a 1080p monitor, and I got this. It's a Gigabyte M28U. The LG I previously had still goes for about 800 bucks, and it was a couple or three years old. The new monitor does everything the LG did, but bigger. So it's got to be better, right? Well, let's talk about it. So my first impressions of this monitor were actually at Micro Center. I was surrounded by a bunch of other giant monitors and it looked kind of small and cheap. But I said, you know what, I'll buy it and if I don't like it, I can return it. That was January and this is, well, August. <laughs> it's the start of August. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I said I'll buy it. So the guy goes on his little hunt to find the, one of these things and brings it back. This box is just huge. I wish I kept it to show it to you, but it it's just a big box. So I throw it in the truck and I take it home and I take it out of the box. First thing I notice, other than the sheer size of this thing is the IO. It's got two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display port 1.4, three USB 3.0 and one USB type C. It also comes with your standard power cable, HDMI, display port, and USB cables. So that's all good and all. So you know, I hooked it up to the PC and the color calibration and settings right out of the box. Never changed them. They're not perfect, but they look good enough. And honestly, I haven't played with them and I don't intend on it. You buy a gaming monitor for, well, gaming. So what's it like to game on it? I've played everything from Cyberpunk to The Sims on this thing. And when I'm playing games like Call of Duty, I'll drop the resolution from 4K to 1440p so I can take advantage of the higher refresh rate. And I know it's no 300 hertz, but it's nice, it's smooth. I can tell what I'm supposed to be looking at. And with the G-Sync game, or, and with the G-Sync games are, well, great. There's no screen tearing to speak of, and the pixel density on the panel is high enough that using you know, lower resolutions, you know, being above 1080p but below 4K, those middle resolutions, on this monitor, it still looks good. And which something you'll probably do quite often, because this is a 4K 164 her, or 165 hertz panel. Not a lot of graphics cards can drive games at 4K at almost 200 hertz. So you're probably going to be dropping the you know you're probably going to be dropping the resolution a lot when you're playing multiplayer games for higher refresh rates. But at the same time, it's got G-Sync. So when you're playing your single player games and you keep your settings high and you're shooting for 60 FPS instead of you know 120 or 144 or what have you. It's still going to look good. You're still, you know, it's still going to be smooth. You're not going to have a lot of screen tear. It's going to be a good experience overall. You might just have to do a little bit of tweaking to get there. And honestly, you're like a great monitor to, or a great graphics card to pair with this monitor would be the 4070 Ti or it's something in that class. And that way you'd be able to take advantage of the 4K high refresh rate in a lot of games. And you can take full advantage of the monitor that way. But while using this monitor for gaming, I did notice as a part of the knob on the back to adjust the volume of the included speakers, you can also hit up on the knob to adjust your black level equalization very quickly, which is especially nice in games like Escape from Tarkov where you go from very bright areas to very dark areas very quickly and need to adjust. It was super nice for that. As 
as far as the creative side of this monitor, or let's call it the productivity side, as far as I can tell, the color work, it seems fine, but I don't have the equipment to properly test it. But for making my YouTube videos, I can tell green is green and blue is blue and red is red. So I'd say it's fine. And the large screen helps with stuff like timeline space or multitasking. You know, while it's no ultra wide, it's a larger format 4K display. So having three or four windows open at a time is still pretty manageable. And actually, for a single monitor, it's pretty nice. What are your other options at this price point, though? It's not the $30 category, so you should be able to find some good stuff. And you know, you're spending $600 on a monitor. You could, you know, there, there's a lot of different things you could do with that money depending on what you need. And if you need a lot of space, you get a pretty decent ultra wide for 600 bucks, or you could probably get two or maybe three cheaper 27 inch 1440p panels. You know, run multiple displays. Do you want to do that or do you want to do, you know, a big 4K panel? I do the big 4K panel. So what do you have for other larger 4K panels out there? Honestly, you don't have a ton of other options. I mean, you could probably get one of those LGs I had earlier, but you know, they're a little smaller. And if you want something a little bigger, you're going to have to go with this. You can't get anything OLED for less than like, 1200 or a thousand bucks, you know, a thousand or 1200 bucks. OLED monitor is going to be a lot of money. You can't get one of those for less than 600 bucks. You get some pretty decent high refresh rate or maybe some better 4K panels with better color but lower refresh rate. So this monitor kind of sits in a you know in a market segment where it doesn't have too much competition. It's a I, I, I want to call it a high refresh rate, but really it's a medium refresh rate, larger display 4K panel. It's a medium size. It's a medium refresh rate, and it's 4K. Because you have some faster refresh rate monitors, you could probably get a you know 300 hertz 1080p panel, or you could get maybe a 32 inch or a 36 inch panel with a slower refresh rate but the same resolution. It's, you know, it's like one of those circles. You just kind of pick what you want and this monitor's got a little bit of everything for a little bit of every one. And honestly, that's what most gamers need or at least that's what I think they need. Just a good all-arounder that'll play any game, anytime, anywhere isn't horrible for anything, but isn't great for anything. And that's what this monitor is. Now granted, it's 600 bucks. That's a lot of money to spend on a monitor. But, you know, if you ask me, I'd say it's worth it. But anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I love this monitor. It's my endorsement for it. It's a little bit more expensive, but I like it. But. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. If you have other monitor recommendations for other people, let them know in the description. We'll catch you later.